big, let's give a big warm welcome to Amazon Lit. Woo! Miami, what the fuck is up? And it all comes from what a lot of people stem as a mistake, right? These mistakes are learning experiences as long as we don't repeat them. As long as we actually pause and learn from them. I was talking with Michael outside and my phone goes off at 9, 12, 4, and 9 every day, four times a day because I am so incredibly busy with the three businesses that I run and family and everything else. I need a reminder to pause and look at my day and be grateful for where I'm at. And that's that mindset, setting up the gratitude and, and, and the relationships that we've built through Amazon Lit. Amazon Lit is super successful, not because we have the knowledge, because there's plenty of people that have the knowledge, but I, I truly, I empathize with all of you. I've been where many of you are, and so Eric and I, we put the effort in. I don't know many people. It's not that we're the smartest in the room, but I don't know too many people that are in the office till five o'clock in the morning working on a program to help others after our other business. Like, that's what we do, and so, where I am is like, I, I will just, I work that treadmill harder than anyone else. I heard Will Smith say it. You might be better than me at everything, but if me and you get on the treadmill together, I'm not stopping until you collapse. And he might've been talking to Chris Rock, I don't know, but, <laughs> but, but I, it's a quote that I've heard from him and that I could definitely relate to. I can d absolutely relate to. And so we, we work hard, but we work hard because of the mindset of the goal and the objective. I too was a broke waiter, I get that, I get that. Uh, of, of where we've been and where others are and, and the feeling of being able to help others is 10 times better than the, the money that I've ever experienced. Yeah. And just to give you a little statistic, so right now we've, uh, in our program, we've been doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring for about two, three years. We stopped doing that. In our program, East Hellers or I, we have 600 students who average $18 million a month on Amazon. That's fucking impressive if you ask me. $18 million a month. And that's not including our sales. You know, our sales are not included in that number. So that's a, that is a lot of money sold monthly on Amazon.com, right? So how many people are, are considering getting into wholesale but just really haven't made that switch or just, just are like on the fence? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, I've been there. I've been there. I even struggle with things today. Like right now we're, we're brainstorming on ways to to continue to grow our business. You know, Sebastian earlier talked about outlandish goals. Our outlandish goal for, for 2022 on Amazon, $75 million. Now, are we gonna reach that? That's a 50% increase from where we are now. We ended 2021 with 52.5. So we're literally gonna grow our business by $25 million? Yeah, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make that happen. You know, whether that's allocation to new space, new packaging station, new employees, hiring new buyers, getting in new developers, whatever it is, leveraging more credit, access to more loans, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do, Sebastian's going to do, and you need to do whatever the fuck it takes to get to the next level. Because while you're not doing it, somebody else is. Somebody else is out there working harder than you right now doing what you're not doing because you're whatever, at the event, you're at the beach, it doesn't matter what you're doing. But if you're not taking action on what needs to be done, Somebody's out there beating you. Somebody's out there beating you. All right, you're gonna go. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Hit that up. Hit that up. Go for that. Listen. For those who are on the fence and haven't started, it's very simple for me to know. I, I have a, this old-time entrepreneur who's super successful, and, and he tells me, "Don't watch their lips, kids. Watch, watch their feet." And what that means is I don't listen to what people say, I look at the action they take. And so if nothing changes, nothing changes. It doesn't matter how many events you go to, Eric's absolutely right, the more you go to, as long as you ha you're taking action on this and implementing what's being said, you will see uber success, you will see your life change. But if you're coming to these events and going home and doing the same things you did before, guess what, one plus one is always gonna equal two. You're always gonna get the same results. That's it. If you want a different life, if you want something different, anything different, I don't wanna say better, but let's say different, you have to take different steps to get there. Different actions need to be taken to get different results. 
Yeah. So I'm a firm believer in exactly what Sebastian said, but where the, the conflict comes in as a, as a business owner is how, you know? It's like, yeah, that sounds fucking perfect. Like I need to take action and do the work, but it's like, how? And after years and years of trials and tribulations and doing this on our own, Sebastian realized that like in order for us to get to the next level, I need to surround myself with people who are next level. And so what that meant for us was in 2021, you know, investing well over six figures into getting connected and being able to enter rooms with those people who are more successful than I am. You know, so it's about taking that leap of faith. And, and we touched on fear before. That was a very scary decision for me to, to make a $100,000 investment for a one-time annual fee to join something that possibly could change my life only if I took action, on, you know? But I'm a firm believer that when you pay, you pay attention. Because if it was free, I'm not fucking opening it. Because I have nothing invested in it. Someone gives you a car, you gonna take it to the car wash every week? Probably not, the shit was free. You're gonna throw the water bottle in the back seat, you know? But if you just bought a brand new fucking Mercedes 480i off the lot, you're gonna be shining those fucking rims. I dropped the F-bomb like 18 times, I apologize, I'm working on that. So like the opportunity exists, but you have to be willing to take it. And that's what really separates the people who are gonna make it and the people who are not gonna make it. Cause there's a lot of Amazon sellers who open accounts every single day on Amazon. Approximately 3,000 new accounts get opened on Amazon every single day. 95% of those people will never see success on amazon.com if not greater than that. And a majority, 70%, will never even list a product for sale. They just see an opportunity, they think it's for them, they sign up, and then they just get charged $39.99 a month. I would just add to that though, that those 90% that don't see success is because they don't want it. I, I, I'm a firm believer, I've seen way too many sellers, I just see, I've had way too many conversations with business owners from all different industries, and the ones that don't succeed is because of them. It's not an outlier, it's an inlier, it's what's inside. They give up, they switch, they say it's not for me, they say it's too hard, they make excuses. They make excuses. The first year of the, uh, the first year where we got the warehouse, uh, right, Eric? Uh, it was in Clifton. I, uh, I didn't have a car because I yeah. wasn't gonna put money into a car, I was gonna put it into inventory. And I got a warehouse and I was walking, I feel like an old man saying this, I'm walking one mile in the snow <laughs> to, to my warehouse. He was. You though. kids don't know what it's like. Uh, but but the, it was about it was about how bad do you want it? That's what it is. How bad do you really want it? Like it doesn't matter what I say. It's the actions that I take. Nobody was gonna tell me that I couldn't do it. Nobody was gonna tell me that I couldn't do it because I was gonna prove that I could. Absolutely, no matter what it took. At the end of the day, it's about what you do when you leave here. Not about what was said, not about if you agree or disagree, it's about what you do. Yeah. So I hope everybody's got some actionable tasks that they got from this weekend that they literally wrote down in your notebook. I know anytime I go to an event like this, I got my laptop, I got a notepad, you know, I got my phone and I'm documenting all this shit because so much information is thrown at you, it's tough to remember all. You know, sometimes somebody say something, I'm like, oh, that was so dope, and then I hear something amazing, and then I forget the first thing, and then I, it's like, because I didn't write it down. You know, so it's important when you go to these events to like document this stuff. I see a lot of you with your pens and pads out, and like, that's what it's all about. You already invested to be here take advantage of it you know that's why I was, I was happy last night it was like 1 30 a.m and everybody's like let's go to the next bar i was like we should probably go home <laughs> i was like we gotta be like we gotta have an event at like nine in the morning like uh, it's like two in the morning like let's go home you know but it's tough to make those rational decisions sometimes that's why it's important to surround yourself with people who may be more rational than you at certain times when you're not as rational as you need to be. That's why I love having this guy around. The rational one. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I didn't say who's the rational or the irrational. Yeah, except Vegas. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I mean, I think, I, think, I think to sum it up, like surround yourself around the who. Stop looking at how am I gonna do it, look at the who. Look for those people that are where you want to be and start just copy and paste. Copy and paste, and then once you understand the fundamentals, then you'll add your own unique touch to it. But at the beginning, just copy and paste, follow along, do what they're doing, don't quit, and work on yourself. Doesn't matter, all the analytics, all the data out there, it, that's all there, it's beautiful. All the software is amazing, it's gonna help you grow, but if you're not working on that foundation, it doesn't matter how big that high rise is, it's gonna collapse, it won't, it won't sustain. Foundation is the essence of everything.
Yeah, so every Monday night we have a live call with our community. Uh, it's about two hours and, and something I always, always, it's like, hey, this software is not doing this for me and this software and how do I fix this software? And it's like, maybe it's not the software. You know, maybe it's you. Maybe you're just not looking at it incorrectly. You know, maybe, you're, maybe you need to step back a little. Maybe you need to hire someone to manage this position. You know, so it's not always the systems that you have in place. Sometimes it's the systems that are in your brain that are fucking you up, you know? Um, so the last thing I'd like to say here before we wrap this up here is uh, if anybody's not following us, please just go to Instagram.com, smash that follow button, and I promise you that if you do what Sebastian and I tell you to do and you show up to those weekly calls, your business will grow four to five X in the next year. I fucking promise you because people who are doing it get the results all the time. There's a few people in here who have it consistently happen, and I'd love to help you take your business to the next level. I appreciate all y'all. You got anything to wrap this up here? Stay lit. Stay lit, my friends. Yeah.